February is a short month, but I'm still getting stuff for the Great Buy Blu-ray pickups because I got the package! And this one says it's from Thunderbean, which means it's animation, but I don't know which one it is because I have like 12 of them on order from this company. And you never know when you're going to get them. Could be years, could be never. You just got to keep on them. It's gotten to the point where I've stopped ordering stuff from them despite the fact that I want them, simply because, yeah, you never know when you're going to get it. So, what do we got here? Okay, so this is... Yeah, okay, this is... Yeah, <laughs> the Thunderbean Thursday Special Set 2017 um, with the... Uh, all Scrappy, All Warners stuff here. And there's another one, another disc. The Little King. So... Yeah. <laughs> that label wasn't put on very well. So, <laughs> I, I seem to have managed to get three, at least three of the releases I'm supposed to get. So, again, some of these things I knew, like this is just a BDR. Actually, they're probably all BDRs, because um, they aren't official. I thought The Little King was supposed to be an official release, but no, it's a BDR. But, these are things that if enough of them are purchased, well, some of them, not all of them, enough of them are purchased, then perhaps he will do an official pressing release. And anybody, I think he said anybody who ordered the original BDRs would get the pressing free of charge. Um, but, yeah. For some of these, that's not, like, I mean, the Thunderbeam Thursday special set, this is, there is no, there's never going to be a pressed one. The Little King, maybe. That's a question, but, yeah. Thunderbeam is, I know it's, it can be frustrating at times. You do have to wait sometimes and, and such, but... It pays off in the end, I guess. Um, <laughs> yeah, like I said, I just got three of the releases that I've been waiting for. I, pro I have a whole bunch more. I'd have to check to see which ones they are. So, yeah, uh, I. it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, short of the releases that are on, I guess, from Amazon.com, those ones you can get. And he ships those out pretty quickly because he has them in stock. Uh, or somebody has them in stock somewhere, somewhere. I don't know if he has in a fulfillment house or if he does it himself. I think he does it himself. Um, but, yeah, if you're looking for classic, and I mean uber classic, like Little Orphan Annie cartoons, um, old, uh, like, Disney stuff. we got some Disney sponsor tags here. Uh, Little Match Girl. And these are stuff you, you, you're not going to find anywhere. Santa's Workshop, I th that's from Disney as well. I thought that was on the Christmas. It might be on. It might have been on. I don't know. Anyways, I'm rambling on. Will there be more pickups in February? Most likely. I do know a lot of things have shipped. I'm just waiting for them to come in. And there is roughly about two weeks to go. So, fingers crossed. So, yeah. Let's check them out right now. Blu-ray pickups for February continue because I got to put it here. This one's from... Severin Films. I think this was a pre-order, maybe. I was waiting on. Uh, no, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it was a special buy. Maybe I was just getting stuff. I don't remember. Apparently I ordered packing peanuts. Oh, okay, that's why. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, I had to get the, what was it, the Black Friday? Was it Black Friday? I don't know. I think it was Black Friday um, release of Jack the Ripper, which was on limited edition, which they had a few copies left and put up. And as soon as they did, I was on it and had to get it, but course they charge quite a bit for shipping so I decided you know what I'm gonna throw on 
this box set, which I had to get as well. It's the Amicus Collection, and because I love me a good book, and I didn't realize it was this big, but <laughs> a giant coffee table. I thought it was a small book, but whatever. Yeah, I guess for the price I paid for it, it makes sense that it's this big. So, yeah. Big edition of Amicus, The Friendly Face of Fear, a book about Amicus films. So, yeah. There you go. More to come in February, anybody's guess. Um, if there is, we're going to check it out right now. February pickups continue with yet another package from Severin. So, I think this is the last of what I'm expecting from them. Uh, it should be the... It was a pre-order I made like in January, I think. I can't remember. But we'll find out. Ah, yes. Famous packing peanuts. Get rid of those. Awesome. So, first is a film I don't think I've ever seen. Um, the closest you ever want to come to nuclear war is the Reds with the limited editions slip cover here. Um, is this a lenticular? Oh, it is. That's cool. So, I'll see if I can get the lenticular action to work on camera here. So, there it is, it's, I think it's England or something like that, it's all pretty, and then, phew, destruction. So, that's a very well done lenticular cover. And then I also picked up Umberto Lenzi's Eaten Alive. Yes, I believe, I believe this was also limited edition slip cover. Um, if you don't know Eaten Alive, it is one of those cannibal movies. Definitely a thing that I think all lover horror fans should grab. Um, but uh, yeah, will there be anything else? I don't know. I do not know. Maybe. Um, I do have another package, I think, that said it shipped, so probably be checking that out right now. Well, the February pickups. Continued because, like I had thought, you know, new movie day, new DVD release day would come about. And I didn't hit it up on Tuesday, but Wednesday was still February, and I hit it up then, so I did pick up some stuff, not to mention that I got some packages! Two of the packages are toys, so they don't count, but two of them are definitely movies. So let's set the toys aside, and I will go right to the movies that I picked up. These ones are from um, Walmart. Now, I went in there and the first thing I saw was for $20, which is more than I would normally spend, but because of what it is, had to get it. Um, that is the remake of Day of the Dead, Day of the Dead Bloodline. So, it was $20, whatever, I ended up picking it up, had to get it. Uh, also $20, I think it was $20, maybe it was $17, I can't remember. I read this and I was like, hmm, this sounds interesting. It's got Michael Fassbender in it. I don't think this came out this week. I think it came out before. And that is The Snowman. But I figured, you know what? It's got the slipcover. I'll pick it up. Other Walmarts I had been in didn't have it with a slipcover. Then finally, I decided I was going to pick it up. Uh, I think it was $17. And that's Happy Death Day with slipcover. Um, yeah. Whatever. It is... It, yeah. Three Blu-rays, which are over what I would normally pay, but because I was already getting the, the one and I was going to pick up a couple of other things, I decided I was going to jump on the other two Blu-rays as well. Because there's two DVDs that I also picked up. First one is Vampira, Vampiria. Um, I believe this is a Filipino... Philippines? Something from the Philippines. Um, uh, futuristic vampire... 
think um, underworld movies um, where there's hunters who hunt the things that go bump in the night. Um, never heard of it. Saw it there. It was only $10. Had to get it. And then I saw this and I was like, yes, the complete series. This was also, I think, 10 or 10 or $12 on DVD, the complete series of Wing Commander Academy. Yes, in case you didn't know, there was a Wing Commander animated series. This one was voiced by Mark Hamill, Malcolm McDowell, and Dana Delaney. Um, so, yeah, I don't, I, I don't think I've seen this since it was first out. Um, so I'm so stoked to actually have this in my collection. Um, and then I have two packages, both from the same place, both the same size. <laughs> Did they send it to me twice? I don't know. But let's find out. Dooby 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 doo doo. All right. And then the first package is some USPS plastic. I guess used for the bubble wrap portion. Okay, so I believe these are from Diabolic DVD. Oh yes, this was. Bunch of random stuff in here. Onyx products. Using it for packaging, I guess. So, hey, if they double ship me this, I would be so happy because this is awesome stuff. Like, really awesome. Well, I usually only order awesome stuff from Diabolic, anyways. But first up, some Vestron releases. Number 13, Gothic. Number 14, class of 99, 1999, and one that I missed, number 12, Slaughter High, all with their slip covers. Beautiful, so I know uh, up to date, I believe, with Vestron Video, all complete. Throw in there the Cat of Nine Tails Arrow Limited Edition release, and then the Arrow Limited Edition release of Between Night and Dawn with. The Crazies, Season of the Witch, and There's Always Vanilla. I don't think I've ever watched, seen there's, there's Always Vanilla. Season of the Witch and The Crazies, yes, but... Yeah, There's Always Vanilla. It's possible. I've never seen that movie before. We'll have to find out. But, what is in box number two? That is the question ultimate... Fingers crossed, I just got two of the same things. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. <laughs> Holy crap. Do should I like do I do I uh, do I contact them? Because I mean, if I do, they could charge. I'm not gonna send them back. I'm not gonna. I mean, if they want to pay me to send them back, I guess I could. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to contact them. I like Diabolic DVD, you know, so I will be contacting them if they tell me to keep them. Awesome, if they don't, then. Yeah. Wow. 
I, they'll have to pay for shipping because I'm not going to obviously pay for it. And if they even try to double charge me, I'll just tell the credit card company that no, I didn't order that. So, wow. Diabolic DVD, I love you, but I don't think you meant to do that. <laughs> so, yeah, interesting end to February. What to do, what to do, eh? Comment down below with what you would do if this happened to be you. Love to hear from you. Till next video, take care. Have a good one.